Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for August for Leo? What do we have for August for Leo? We got three, we're gonna take those. Okay, okay, so what do we got? Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. Leg, stepping into a new experience. So you're stepping into a new experience. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So there is a change that is coming. With an older woman, this woman is not young. Okay, it doesn't mean that she's older than you, per se. It's just not a young woman. So if you're an older man watching this or, you know, an older woman, you know, you're going to be dealing with somebody who's not young. Okay, it's a, it's a woman that's not young. Um, let's see. Well, let's get a couple of these. Stepping into a new experience. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Looks like it's a transformation. You know, from caterpillar to butterfly is pretty darn beautiful. So whatever this is, it's beautiful. Uh, some of you may be becoming wiser. You may have went through some sort of experience that has wisened you up in some way. Um, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? <laughs> Wedding vows, wedding vows. So I'm not sure how that plays a part. Could it could go several different ways. We got somebody here that may be married, or they're they're gonna get together with somebody that they're gonna get married to, or there's marriage on the table here. So interesting. We could have somebody here that's already married. So keep that in mind. Ooh, money, money going down the drain. So there is some sort of money going down the drain. I gotta show you what's on the bottom because I feel like it's prominent. Past life connection. So we have a past life connection here. All right. So interesting. Let's get one more. What do we have for Leo? Ooh, big, big heart. We have somebody here that has a huge heart. This is also about love. Okay. This is, it could be big love. It could be big love, whatever this is. Um, interesting. So, Leo, this is about love, but there is some money that's going down the drain. Hmm. You're stepping into a new experience. Maybe there's going to be a change in your location, you know, and you lose some money. I don't know. That's, that's, there could be some, some of you may be dealing with some plumbing issues, just saying. Uh, it may cost you some money. Um, what do we have for Leo? Oh, there it is. It's right there. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So there's some sort of support here for you. On the bottom of the deck we have believe, okay? The force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. So something about your belief in what you believe. If you want success, you got to believe in it, right? If you believe that somebody is your partner, if you if you truly believe that, then you're probably correct. You know, if you believe that they're your your past life connection or whatever the case is. Um, pay attention to your beliefs at this time, all right? So what do we have for Leo? Transformation's absolutely beautiful. It is. 
It is. You're going to be stepping into a new experience. You may be going through a transformation, you know, because of this new experience. Oh, oh boy. Wedding. Wedding. So there's a wedding coming up, or maybe in the future. It could be years. I don't know. But you may. I feel like you're connecting with somebody, or you're going to be, you know, that is either married already, or you're going to be getting married to this person. This is situation involves marriage. Interesting. Very interesting. That's, we already did that. Now we can choose a deck. What deck are we going to use? I think we are going to use this one. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo for August? Something about marriage. You're going to be dealing with um, weddings, wedding issues. You may be talking about marriage. You may be getting together with somebody you're going to get married to. Um, you could also be dealing with somebody that is married. But I put that situation involves married marriage right over the big red heart. So we got a big red heart here. We got a big, big, big heart. We got somebody that has a big heart. And they're, 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 they're going to be getting married to somebody. Fool reversed. Mm, fool reversed is a missed opportunity. And I had missed opportunity on this deck too. Yep, here it is. And I didn't mention it to you. It was on the bottom. So the fool reverse is a missed opportunity. I'm not sure if you've dealt with or you've been dealing with somebody that is naive. You know, there's some sort of naive. But that could be your energy as well. There's a need to take a risk. There's... There's foolish behavior. There's uh, a missed opportunity. You may have somebody here that's been stupid, just being honest. Foolish. Made a foolish mistake. Moon reversed. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a, uh, an Aries with the Fool card or a Pisces or a Cancer, but this is a reality check. You're about to get a reality check. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed. There's foolish behavior here. Two cards. Knight of Cups and Nine of Swords reversed. So the Nine of Swords reversed is somebody that's giving deep thought to a relationship. They're extremely stressed out, very worried. Can I trust? Can I believe in this? You know, so having a hard time, having a hard time trusting perhaps. I feel like there, there's a need to listen to your gut. Uh, there's somebody here that may want a relationship, you know, they're looking for love, they're very, uh, they speak of love, you know, and, but there's worry, there's worry about is this, is this too good to be true, is it too good be, to be true, you know, the Knight of Cups is, is a lover, okay, it's somebody that is looking for a relationship, but there's a lot of worry here, and there's a lot of stress, and there's a lot of anxiety, extreme. And there, in the full reverse, could be fearful. And same with the moon, there could be some extreme fear. You know, very, very fear, fearful of falling in love, or getting into a relationship, or getting married, or getting into a commitment, or something like that. We have somebody here that is extremely scared. Put it that way. They may even be paranoid. You know, uh, trying to hide their feelings. Because, you know, they don't want to get hurt. You know, they've been hurt, obviously, with that Nine of Swords, which has caused them not to trust. Anyhow, um, somebody, there could be a proposal that is coming, okay? Or there is a Knight in Shiny Armor that's coming in if you're single. The Knight of Cups can be a proposal. It could be definitely an engagement. It could also be uh, flirting with somebody. You know, somebody may be falling in love with somebody. You know, it does, it, this could be just a, a, a relationship that's stepping it up to the next level. I had a card fall out, which is the Three of Cups reverse. This is parting ways from a third party. So I'm not sure if somebody has been involved in a third party situation. A third party is coming to an end. And third party doesn't always have to be a lover. It could be a mother. It could be a child. It could be a friend. It could be somebody that's been in the way. Somebody that has been in the way of... Uh, somebody following their heart or something like that. I, there could be a parting ways, okay? There could also be some gossip around. I wonder if there's some gossip that, that comes out that changes the situation. Um, fool reversed is unprepared. 
I feel like we have somebody here that is unprepared. They're unprepared for, you know, this new beginning that has just popped up. It's like it's just here. It's just right here. It was unexpected. It's just popped up. It just, it's here. It's here. Um, and there could be discussions of marriage. There's extremely scared though. Very scared. Three of Cups reverses parting ways from friends or family. That could be causing anxiety. You know, we could have some friends or family that are like, are you crazy? Are you stupid? You know, that kind of thing. Or they may think, you may be worried what they're going to think. What, are they going to think I'm stupid? Who gives a shit what they think? Just being honest. They don't live your life. There's only one person that lives your life and it's you. You gotta follow your heart. Don't be stupid. Tower. Major disruption. This is a shock. It is a surprise. A major disturbance in your foundation. Could be internal. You may be dealing with something right now that is absolutely a shock to your system. Okay, um, I do feel like there is somebody that is about to uh, get themselves into a commitment that they did not expect, and it may involve marriage. Uh, this is this is because now on the bottom I have the Four of Wands reversed. This is a, this could definitely be marriage. This is an upcoming celebration. This is like a relationship that is about to become more committed. That's what I feel like. I feel like this is a major disruption. Maybe it's a major disruption to your life or to the other person's life or whatever. But I do feel like there is some sort of light that is going to be shed on a situation and you are going to be absolutely shocked with whatever's offer. I put it next to the Knight of Cups is coming. You have an emotionally fulfilling offer that is coming, whether it's about love or it's about a change in residence or whatever it is, you have an offer that is coming that is going to make you very happy. But you will be parting ways with, I don't know if it's people, friends, family, whatever. It feels like you are going to need to face your fears and step into unknown territory. This may regard, this may mean moving, like literally moving, like you may have to move, okay? Um, and this may mean that you have to part ways with somebody. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of fear. You could also be, this could be the other person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that is extremely scared, okay? They're scared of what their friends and family are going to say, you know, if they uh, follow their heart. So that could be for somebody. But there is a major, a major change that is coming with Caterpillar and the Tower card. That is a major disruption, a major change. That is something uh, falling apart so that a new beginning can be had. So there is going to be a new beginning. Somebody's going to be starting with a clean slate. They're going to be rebuilding or building a foundation uh, someplace else by the looks of things. I feel like whoever you are dealing with as well uh, wants to have a relationship with you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They may want to marry you. They may see you as a wedding person you know that they can marry you know your 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 potential you know you are it feels like there's a serious potential here um and you need to step into this new experience it's interesting because we have that leg stepping into a new experience and then we have fool reverse the fool's literally stepping as well but this is reverse like go with your fear just do it just do it what does your heart want Anyhow, um, so but but I also feel like there's not that your person that we're talking about. Um, I don't know. They may be very worried. They may be very worried about um, making a poor judgment call. You know, they may be very worried that you know you're not going to commit to them or something like that. And I don't know who that's for. Um, I do feel like we have somebody here that is in a false sense of security and things are about to change and it's going to be a sudden, it's going to be a very, very, very sudden change.
Queen of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is good news. It's an offer of love, right? It is welcome news. This is Cupid, okay? That is, uh, you know, it's Cupid hitting somebody with the arrow, right? So hitting somebody with love, okay? It's love. There is love here, big love by the looks of things. Anyhow, Queen of Swords reverse doesn't trust, doesn't trust, is, is not, we have somebody here that is probably not happy. I don't know if it's an ex. Queen of Swords in reverse can be an ex that is getting angry. There's going to be a major, somebody may be kicking somebody out. This is somebody that may see something and they kick somebody out. If you're in a third party situation and that's not going to be for everybody, this could be a wicked stepmother, okay? This could be a wicked stepmother, can be an ex. It's, this is a bitch, put it that way. We do have a bitch here, okay? We, they're everywhere. Anyhow, um, so yes, we definitely have a bitch here. This, this, uh, is going to, this bitch is going to cause a major disturbance, okay? It feels like she is, she has some sort of information. She's probably been keeping it to herself. I feel like she's gonna say something. She's gonna say something which is gonna cause a change, okay? She has some sort of information that changes everything. I feel like there, she's going, she's going, I feel like somebody's getting kicked out or something like that. Or they're being forced because the Queen of Swords next to the tower, the tower is forced. They're being forced. Somebody may be forced to uh, move. And I think we're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Aries, or and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is all about love. It's all about a relationship. We have somebody here that may have been socializing with somebody behind the scenes. It's going to be revealed. If, if somebody has been doing something behind the scenes, it's going to be revealed. And that's not... And, Take what resonates from this reading and leave the rest. Something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. It's going to be revealed very, very suddenly, and it's going to cause a major disruption. This disruption is needed. It's necessary because somebody is in a false sense of security, and they are not meant to be there. Okay, They're meant to uh, be someplace where they're stable and secure and solid and where there's light. They're, supposed, they're not supposed to be in this dark situation. Anyhow, you are about... You are about, there's falling in love here. You're falling in love with somebody by look, that's what I think. But I think you have somebody around you that may be jealous or they're angry or they're vindictive. They're bitter or something like that. This person is going to uh, cause an uproar. They're going to cause chaos. So there is somebody around you that is going to uh, cause a disruption in your happy little plan. Okay, whatever the happy little hoorah is, you've got somebody here. And it could be the mother. It could be a mother that doesn't agree, that thinks that knows it all. You know, it doesn't have to be a mother, but whoever this person is, this is a know-it-all. This is somebody that thinks that they know what's best, okay? Um, but there's going to be a separation. You may need to separate yourself. Maybe this is a friend that really isn't your friend. Or it's a family member. Three of Cups reversed here. There is somebody in their faults. This is a liar. There's We have the tower next to the Queen of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that lies, okay? There's somebody in your situation that maybe they don't want you to be happy or they're jealous of you or they're hiding something or, you know, they don't want you to succeed. I, what the hell? Oh, my God. Eight of coins. Eight of coins is things working out, putting in effort. This bitch is going to do something because I put it next to the eight of, uh, queen of swords reverse. She's, she or he, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. I also see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio pretty strongly. There is somebody here that is going to be doing something. They're going to be putting in a lot of effort to cause a problem, Okay. They are. This person is going to, uh, I don't know if they're going to cause a fight. 
They're going to pick a fight. They could pick a fight. This per It feels like this person has been investigating or working really hard to manipulate. Oh, my God. Reading something. We have we have somebody here that is reading something. They're reading something. They're going to it's almost like they're going to find something out and they're going to revenge. I mean next to the tower, there could be some revenge here. I also feel like you need to be open-minded. You need to follow your heart. Do not let your logic get in the way of what your heart wants. Do not let other people get in the way of what your heart wants. I think also whoever you are dealing with is probably just as scared as you are. But I feel like this is a past life connection and I feel like it is uh, undeniable. Um, parting ways from friends or family that have been deceptive. You're dealing with somebody that is is a liar, and it could be your person. If you're in a third party situation and you you've been extremely stressed out, uh, and anxious, and worried that you know your person is is never going to arrive, whoever this your person is dealing with is going to read something or see something or. Well, along those lines, and they're gonna cause a disruption. Okay, they're gonna somebody could get thrown out absolutely 100%. Now, this could be somebody getting thrown out of their home by their mother or their landlord or something like that. Somebody's getting thrown out, or they're moving. Maybe they're, they, they may just be moving because of some major fight. The tower can be a major fight. I think that you're dealing with somebody that works really, really, really hard. You know, they focus on their job, they focus on their money, whether it's you or the person. We have somebody here that is a very, very hard worker. They concentrate on their work, but they have somebody that's working behind their back, that is doing something behind their back. Whoever this hard worker is, whether it's you or your person, they got somebody here that is, it's almost like they're, they're watching them from behind the scenes and they're about ready to explode with the information. The information's about to come out, put it that way. They've been doing like some sort of investigation, keeping it to themselves, and they're about to uh, explode. Death reverse. This holding on is getting old. This is a major uh, transformation that has been delayed. It has been, but the tower, which is universal force, is here to force it, okay? It's, this is force change because somebody has been uh, sitting on the pot too long, okay? They have. They've, they've been uh, holding on to a dead end, but things are about to change. It's going to be a very sudden change, just so you know. Um, extremely sudden. Um, Knight of Coins on the bottom. This is definitely a hard worker building a new foundation. We have somebody here that wants to build a new foundation. This is somebody that is loyal and true and is looking for commitment and will commit. This is somebody that wants commitment, but they may have an ex or a family member that they're worried if they follow their heart, what are they going to do? And it could be the person they live with, okay? Who, I don't know if it's their mother or their family member or a friend or something. There is definitely somebody here that is not going to be happy with your choice. All right. Um, but you will need to release them. You're going to have to sever ties with this person. Or they are. If it's your partner that is in a third, if you're with somebody that is in a third party, they they will be severing ties. I, I do think so. The, I feel like the other person, if there's a third party here, the other person's going to force them out. 
it's going to be like, you know what? You've been doing this while you're at work? Are you kidding me? You know, that kind of thing. Because I have the work here, the eight of coins. Everything's going to work out in your favor, by the way. It is. There's going to be a major disruption with this bitch. But everything happens for a reason, okay? I don't know if it's your mother or whatever. You need to follow your heart. You're going to be stepping into a new experience. And whoever it is that you're waiting for that is causing you so much distress, they have the same feelings for you, okay? They, they feel, I feel like the feelings are mutual. This person may be stuck because of money. Unprepared. We have somebody here that has been naive. They may think that they have been hiding something. Maybe they think they've been hiding communication or they've been hiding a third party. They haven't been. They're going to get caught. They are caught. It feels like the truth is going to come out and it's going to hurt real bad. Uh, death reversed. Major change. There's been resistance to change. We also have somebody here that, well, I already said it, is going to force somebody. There, It's like, it's over. It's completely over. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's completely over. Go. Whatever that means. Moving. My advice is to be practical, but also follow your heart. Whoever you're dealing with is going to, I feel like they're going to fight for you. And if it means that they have to sever ties with this witch, then so be it. And you may be fighting for somebody, however it resonates with you. It feels like we have a battle here, you see? It's like, it's, it's definitely a battle. It is a battle. So there's, there's going to be a fight. There is definitely going to be a fight. Somebody's working really, really, really hard to build a strong foundation. And they are going to be successful. Something is going to be revealed. I don't know if it's, if you were married to somebody in the past, you know. Um, some, and I don't know if this has to do with court. Paying out money. Not getting what you thought you were going to get or vice versa. Things could get ugly, really, 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 really ugly. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight. And I don't know what this fight is for, but there is going to be a fight. Something may come up, something about a near-death experience may come up. Devil reverse. I don't know. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. But this is severing ties, breaking free. Breaking free from something that is toxic. We have somebody in your reading. Whether it's you or the person that you are so worried about. You know, this relationship. Somebody is breaking free from a toxic situation that they have been bound to. And they're grabbing on to something solid, stable, real, long term. This is a yes answer. Yes, this is what you asked for. Congratulations. You are about to receive a huge offer or you're falling in love. Whatever this is, it's solid, it's real, it's stable, it's long-term. Good luck. 